Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles on the Sega Mega Drive. I am one well sheep yet again and today ladies and gentlemen we are continuing and we are clearing Knuckles' storyline. We are beating Knuckles' Lava Reef Zone stage which is a completely different level from Sonic's portion. This stage plays completely differently. And uh, that enemy that drilled the floor, well if you go backwards a little bit, you can actually despawn him and fly over the gap where he was. And it's actually an interesting platforming area where we can go to, where we can actually leave Knuckles' stage, because Knuckles' level is completely unique. And if you push the switch, it'll allow you to go through this wall. Going through this wall will send you to Sonic's pathway. For the sake of this LP, I'm not doing that. I've had enough of filler commentary from the previous part because the previous part is essentially Sonic levels throughout the entire thing. So um, yeah, we're gonna go through some Knuckles exclusive levels. And Lava Reef Zone as Knuckles is so much harder than when playing as Sonic. For one thing, you got a hell of a lot more ball things to deal with, you got a lot more lava traps, and you got tiny glide you got gliding sequences like this that I can completely cheese by like by playing bad and using abusing the invincibility frames. <laughs> ah, but seriously, Knuckles this is where Knuckles' storyline takes a massive difficulty spike, you know? Is it because of previous two levels, there weren't really many Knuckles sequences. Like Sandoblis had about two Knuckles pathways at the maximum, you know? The difficulty spike in this can throw a lot of people off, and this is primarily primarily one of the reasons why I consider Knuckles to be the harder playthrough. And it's just because the last couple of the, the last couple of stages of Knuckles are ridiculously hard, you know? Especially in comparison to Sonic. Now, when you know what you're doing, you can get through it just fine, but do expect to take a lot of hits. And, and ladies and gentlemen, like I said previously, you will not be seeing super or hyper form in this part. Because I'm not good enough to keep enough rings to transform. I'm happy I can't for one primary reason, and that's simply because, well, I want to continue. I, you know, I want to show off this game as your first time through run would be, you know, not abusing the super high performance much at all. Kind of difficult to do when you have the Chaos Emeralds or Super Emeralds, which is depressing, really, because... I really can't understand why Sega didn't put the super form onto its own sniper button. It, it's as, it's really simple. It's, it's just as simple as reassigning a control, you know? It's, uh, I just, I just don't know why they'd never bothered with that. I mean, even in, even in Sonic 2, you would think, okay, if they, the testers would have probably shut it up. Okay, transforming automatically when you have 50 rings is really annoying. It's like they put, they try to put effort in to stop the, to, you know, they try to put effort in to improve the super forms over the second game, and I appreciate that. I really do. But it's like they went halfway and then they sort of half-assed it because jumping in the air twice, it's still not perfect, you know, folks. I still, I still prefer pushing its own separate button to transform. And Sonic Four got this right. So yeah, if, if anyone argues that Sonic Four is inferior to the classics, that's what I'm pointing at. Now, gameplay as a whole, that's another story. Obviously, the classics are far superior in terms of gameplay, but... Honestly, for that one instance, Sonic 4 is better than the classic games, you know? It, I'm saying that now because it's gonna be years, probably, until I end up getting to Sonic 4 as an LP, because it's gonna take a long time for me to do these LPs, considering I'm doing them at the rates that I am. But anyway, this boss fight is essentially the same as Knuckles, the only difference is he moves slightly quicker and is a bit more awkward to deal with, so... It's the same deal though, destroy the big shooty thingies and time your jumps so you can just land on the hand and destroy it. It's, it's a still a fairly simple boss fight, you shouldn't have too much difficulty getting through it. Shouldn't. <laughs> ah. Anyway, it's on to Act 2 of Lava Reef Zone now, which, just like with Act 1, 
is completely different. Knuckles has his own pathways to go. It starts off pretty much exactly the same, but it really turns into Knuckles' own thing. And one thing you will want in this, this particular act is the fire shield. You will need the fire shield in this act, folks, because you see those flame pillars, spouty things that they basically spit fire out. You're going to hate them. You are honestly, honestly going to despise them. Anyway, going down here, this is essentially the pathway we need to go to get through his knuckles, so see that fire shield? Grab it as soon as you can. I said as soon as you can. There we go. There's a, there's a good knuckle set. Who is a good knuckle set? He's a good knuckle head. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oops. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, honestly, though, I, I like the stage. It's got a good difficulty. It's, um... Definitely feel like a, a climactic level, you know, purely cause of difficulty. It doesn't feel climactic because of, of the music, that's surely true, because the, the music's really calm and collected. It's kind of fitting though, because the stage does sort of want you to be a bit more slow paced with your platforming. You, like, you do need to do a lot of waiting to get through this without issues. So there's that. Although, I do like, I have to say about these crushy. Actually, I'll wait until a certain sequence to talk about the crushy things because they're awkward. Now, this sequence by here is why you're going to need the fire shield. Trying to time climbing up here and not getting burned is damn near impossible. I have never been able to do it, so... Okay, tell a lie, I did transform into hyperform once. Okay, my bad, my bad, but I do jump out of it in a second, so there's that. But yeah, those um, crushy platforms, they basically... They don't crush it. <laughs> if you get crushed into the wall on those crushy platforms, for some reason it glitches out and uh, you're just not able to. Anyway, you might be wondering why I went to this bonus stage. It's because when you go into a bonus stage, you do cancel out the high perform. So I did come into this place. I did go into it on purpose just to go out on my high perform. So there's that. I completely forgot I did transform by accident. But I assure you, the majority of the gameplay in this is no high perform. I just can't transform in the stage, and I'm thankful for it. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm about to take a hit in a few, in like a minute or so. That's gonna get rid of all my rings. So there's that. Anyway, you're gonna be have, you're gonna have to utilize gliding quite a bit to get through the stage unscathed. You know, folks, it's, this is really a challenging level. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got hit. You know, stuff like that happens all the time in the stage, and. I do like the I do like the stage. Honestly, I really love it. It's, sometimes I think the challenge could have probably been toned down a bit with this one because, you know, I have no problems getting through the game these days. When I was younger, this stage caused me to pull my hair out. I I I I, I hated this level when I was younger as Knuckles. I just couldn't do it. Like these days, as you can see, I, I do a normal playthrough like this, and I'm far from perfect of the game. Don't get me wrong, but. I can get through it just fine. I just think it should have been toned down for our first time players, you know? <laughs> but that's just me. Maybe remove some of the couple of dick moves. But yeah, like I said, even though this game wants to scare you by here with these crushy blocks, but as I said before, you're in no danger. Your biggest danger are the spikes on the wall below, because the spikes will hurt you, but aim crushing you will just cause you a clip into the block and. You'll be unscathed, you'll be able to continue progressing the level as if nothing happened, you know? So there's that. But of course, yeah, like I said, fire thingy, the fire, the fire thingy, the fire shield is really mandatory to get through the stage pretty much, you know, it, it's mandatory. I, if you don't have the fire, fire shield, I keep getting, I keep forgetting the name of it, throughout the stage, it's going to be awkward. But anyway, that's done. And now time for the hardest stage in the entire game. That's right, there's no boss for a lava reef, so be thankful for that. But yeah, hardest stage in the whole game, folks. I can't believe I got out of there alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so challenging. Oh! <laughs> All jokes aside, it's now time for the final boss in Sky Sanctuary Zone. So yeah, Egg Robo, how you doing, eh? 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 Well, the final uh, mastermind you'll be shocked to know isn't the Egg Robo. Metal so Mecha Sonic? Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Well, okay, good to know Mecha Sonic doesn't 
he'll, he's willing to get rid of his uh, teammates in order to get the way he wants. You know, get what he wants out of, get his goals cleared. Basically, he, he's not, he's not afraid to sacrifice for his goals, which you can so commend him for. You can't fight a knucklehead without breaking a few eggs or egg robos. <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, his normal boss fight by here is exactly the same as Sonic's version. However, no, wait, where are you going? No, get off that emerald, you son of a bitch! Get away from my emerald! <laughs> Super Mecha Sonic is this boss fight. This is what we're fighting now. This is the main battle of Knuckles' story, and it is extremely easy to beat. It is easier than Doomsday Zone, it is easier than Death Egg Zone, it is even easier than Lava Reef Zone Act 3 for boss fight. But it can be tricky if you don't know how to deal with it. Now, what I recommend is standing literally just in front of the Master Emerald, where I'm standing right here. Stand here, and this will cause him to do this laser beam attack. When he shoots his laser beam attack, after three hits, you have an opportunity to hit him twice. Now, depending on where you are standing on the battlefield, he will do different moves, including, like, um, a ring a ring blast, which you, I skipped entirely because that was just that good of a boss fight. He also does this uh, move where he dives at you, which you saw, and you just jump over the attack. Now, whenever he does a ring blast, which is normally his last pinch attack, you know. I don't know how I managed to beat him without him doing that attack. I've never beat him this quick before. <laughs> but when he's on his last legs, he will shoot out rings and he'll become vulnerable for a set period after shooting out two sets of rings. We hit him, boom, he explodes. But yes, folks, that is it. We have done Sonic 3 and Knuckles on the Sega Mega Drive. Oh, sorry. My throat went a bit weird then. I'm still kind of waking up, you know. That's. I've had a re- I woke up really late, so I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of scrambling to get this commentary together. Kind of like how I scrambled to take care of Mecha Sonic then. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, with that, folks, that is Sonic 3 and Knuckles complete permanently. And what, what I gotta say is Knuckles' storyline. It's fantastic in its own right, you know, Knuckles' storyline is a lot harder, it provides a decent challenge. The only bit that can be really kind of dickish is Lava Reef Zone Act 2, and that's probably only on your first time run. Every other run, you'll have no problems getting through it, so... In conclusion! It sounds like I'm doing a review. <laughs> well, I guess I kind of am, I always end these videos with like a review sort of deal, don't I? Well, anyway... It's a fantastic game, the soundtrack still holds up, the gameplay is amazing. I still don't think it's, a good, it's, as, it's as good as Sonic 2. Like, everyone thinks it's- a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people think this is the best Sonic game ever made. My vote for that still goes to Sonic 2. But I'm, I'm probably kind of biased in that, because Sonic 2 is my favourite game of all time, and... I've always... You know, it was, the it was the game that introduced me to the series. It was my first video game. I, all I grew up, and the first game I ever had on my Mega Drive was Sonic 2. And later on, I played Sonic 1, because my parents owned a copy of that, and... The rest is history, you know? <laughs> but yeah, fantastic game, fantastic soundtrack, fantastic level design. Like I said back in the previous part, I'm still finding stuff even today. You know, going through this game. Every playthrough is different, and... I, I find it strange how I still find new stuff, you know, even games today with all the budgets and all the content they chuck in these games, I'm, I'm not finding new things playing them, because all the things are usually laid out for you, you know, I like to have, I like to have the main storyline basic and easy enough to get through, but I also like the secrets to be, well, secret, you know? <laughs> but yeah. That is the end of this LP. I haven't got really much more to say to it, so we watch Angel Island fly back up into the space. And when we go back into space, we'll see a nice super or hyper knuckles graphic. So uh yeah. Like honestly, the only major f there's only two major flaws I have well, two or three major flaws I have with this game overall. It's the fact that the super form should have been its own button. And this flaws in Sonic 2 as well. I really hate the fact that the super form isn't its own button. Um, the physics will sometimes glitch up when you go up certain ramps, and I think you- I think you've seen this during my Sonic run. It's been a long time since I've seen that back, so I could be wrong. But, 
the physics will usually glitch up and sometimes you'll see certain hit you know I always get I tend to get killed by things that don't really make sense like earlier on in this playthrough I got killed by a block that crushed me that wasn't actually crushing I got burnt by a flamethrower that didn't even touch me you know it's lots of weird hit collect collision things like that Although with the flamethrower, I guess it kind of made sense because the flamethrower shoots us so quickly. Anyway, that's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. And I'll catch you all in a different LP next time, which I believe the next Sonic LP I'm taking on will be either Sonic CD or Sonic Chaos. One of those two. I forget which one's next. I think it's Chaos, but don't get me wrong. Or could be CD. Either way, I'm doing another Sonic game eventually, so that's all that matters. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. I'll catch you all next time. Bye!